Uh, okay, so I have a um, Vauxhall, and uh, I need. Uh, I wanted to use the uh, the old inbuilt tape deck as um, or link it to my phone, and so I just used uh, uh, this uh, Bluetooth, really cheap off eBay. Um, audio converter which uh, receives a Bluetooth signal when paired with a phone uh, it shows up as a BT Bluetooth device and it outputs the standard TRS uh, jack into a microphone uh, any sort of microphone socket you have or a recording device so uh, what I've got is the output of my phone essentially there in uh, as an electronic signal and stereo signal and that being the ground so what I did is um, link that round to the radio face uh, and uh, just put it through a hole in the front of the cover but I'll put it on a little TRS jack probably just there somewhere in future but uh, let me show you what's inside the, the um, how, what points I had to solder it onto inside the tape deck because that's quite interesting and it's not very obvious which bit to solder it onto so here we go okay so here we go here's the radio i've already taken it apart to just mock this up just to make sure i had the right wires which i have and i've tested and they are the correct pins so here you go this is um the radio obviously the circuit board and the tape deck and this is pretty much standard radio for a car this age and um inside obviously your every car and every manufacturer managed to make these different I've found I never don't think I've ever seen a standard radio in a car that's the same um, because that's the way they do things and what I did is how I did this is what you can apply the same logic I um, first of all I found obviously you've got the tape deck head that's the actual head of the tape deck that's where the tape passes across uh, old-fashioned tape and um, there's a ribbon lead coming off that just there and that's on a little circuit board just a wee circuit board there and that goes down and connects on some spade connectors and what I did actually initially was solder points straight off this and have them protruding through the radio mouth uh, the tape deck mouth and that sounds absolutely awful trying to put that signal from the Bluetooth receiver into those wires off of the tape deck uh, because of the way the, the magnetic head works, the, the sound quality is so diminished it's not worth doing. It just sounds like it's underwater. So so that's a uh, no-go. But what, what you, what you realise is that uh, this this riser, uh, this ribbon lead, goes down onto the board and onto some points. And what I did is I turn it over and they come down onto these points here. And they basically funnel back to this chip. And this chip, um, it's called a uh, TEA, as in copper T, 0675T, or is it T? Yeah, 0675T. So what I did is I googled that chip, and it turns out, unsurprisingly, that that chip is a specialist chip to take the sound... Uh, signals you get from the quality of the sound signal you get from a tape deck head to a nice uh, crisp signal well as crisp as you're going to get from a tape which is not crisp at all in these days but it was back in the day I was considered the, uh, the <laughs> that was considered top technology and then output it obviously to the amplifier uh, in this um, in the in the in, in you know, the amplifier and use the amplifier circuit and then obviously send it out to the four speakers of the car but you know I wanted to use the amplifier in this and not have to do much didn't want to install another amplifier, didn't want to do anything, I just wanted the audio jack, I just wanted the audio in which these these radios never provide, ever provide because it's obviously too much effort and uh, there's too much money to be made from trying to sell you uh, you know like a CD player or auxiliaries device or something in future so they can sell you more stuff but uh, if you just google the uh, chip name off there uh, the and bring up the data sheet to this chip as I've mentioned uh, the number previously these two end pins happen to be out 
an analog out, I think it was analog out A and analog out B. So it's a stereo processing chip, there's two channels to it, and the A and B out. And so what I did is just solder the wire, literally flying leads, I think you call these, straight off this pin here and that pin there. So that's my two channels for the audio. And then I just found a nice common ground point and soldered that on there. And uh, it's that easy. And when you now put it, press it on tape mode, now you just put it on tape mode and just press blue pair, pair the Bluetooth device up. Um, you know, just uh, and, and connect it to your phone, or a smartphone, and uh, only have a Bluetooth playable devices. I can't think of any others, but if, at least a phone. Uh, you can have your nice uh, audio with the phone audio and directions and all that cutting in and all the luxuries of the phone uh, amplifier for your car stereo which uh, if you just apply that basic logic I think anybody could probably do that to an old fashioned tape deck uh, radio might have in their car uh, so yeah have, have fun doing that